Asus ROG Zephyrus G15 2022 has the potential to end the cycle of Asus's Zephyrus laptops, being among my favorite gaming laptops currently on the market. But while each one strives to improve upon the last, there is typically a new issue that comes with it. The Zephyrus G15 delivers a stunning chassis for around $2,000, along with a lovely 15.6-inch 1440p display, a responsive keyboard, high-quality audio, a battery life of at least 8 hours, an outstanding performance from its AMD Ryzen 9 6900HS CPU. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 T GPU in this system, however, performs poorly when compared to other high-end gaming laptops in its class, causing it to become excessively hot for no reason. The Asus ROG Zephyrus G15 is a good gaming laptop all around. If you don't scrutinize the statistics against its rivals too closely, you might consider this laptop to be among the greatest gaming laptops available, still in awe of the new Zephyrus style. It's slick, confident, and absolutely stunning. Like its siblings, this model's magnesium alloy lid has an attractive milky white coat sprayed over it, along with enticing micro dots packed with a prismatic film. The laptop has a wonderful industrial appearance, thanks to the purple metallic Republic of Gamers establishment stamp on the lower left corner. There are a few indication lights and a Zephyrus logo on the hinge. Opening the lid shows the soft touch paint applied moonlight white pattern. The stunning RGB lit keys were what most startled me, because the keyboard had previously only been backlit by simple white LED. The keyboard is surrounded by two tiny speaker vents, a sizable touchpad, and a row of distinct media keys. With the exception of the chin, the bezels around the display are relatively tiny, yet they still allow space for the webcam on the top bezel. For a 15-inch laptop, the Zephyrus G15 is relatively thin and light at 4.3 pounds and 14 by 9.6 by 0.8 inches. In comparison, the MSI G76 Raider, 8.8 pounds, 15.6 by 11.2 by 1 inches, and Lenovo Legion 7i, 5.5 pounds, 14.2 by 10.2 by 0.80.9 inches, Acer Nitro 5, and are heavier and thicker. The Zephyrus G15 has a respectable selection of connections, but the dedicated mini display port is still absent. The power jack, an HDMI port, an RJ45 Ethernet port, USB Type-A port, two Thunderbolt 4 ports, and a headphone jack are all located on the left. The right side has a USB Type-A port, a micro SD card slot, and a Kensington lock slot. The 15.6-inch, 2560x1400 display on the Asus ROG Zephyrus G15 is less vivid and colorful than the average premium gaming laptop, but it still holds its own against rivals, thanks to a respectable 240Hz refresh rate. The display was sufficiently light in the latest Liam Neeson B-Action film trailer to show each book in the dimly lit room that Neeson entered. The blue graffiti in the background really stood out on the panel when Neeson was battling someone in a restroom. The Zephyrus G15 only covered 79.9% of the DCI-P3 color spectrum, falling short of the average premium gaming laptop's 82.7% coverage, according to our calorimeter. It is just surpassed by the Legion 7i, 80.2%, and Nitro 5, 81.7%, but is still more colorful than the outrageously pricey GE76 Raider, 74.5%. The Zephyrus G15 once again falls short of a category average in brightness with 307 nits. However, it still outperforms both the Nitro 5, 256 nits, and the GE76 Raider, 284 nits. The Zephyrus G15, like its siblings, has a responsive keyboard with a cozy soft touch deck that made my fingers and palms feel right at home. The keyboard lighting was somewhat addressed by Asus. We have some vibrant RGB lights in place of the awful white lighting. Even though there is only one zone of lighting, the keyboard font's irregular transparency makes it difficult to read the lighting. Although the addition of color is a lovely touch, more work has to be done. The touchpad, which measures 3.3 by 5.1 inches, is large, plush, and has a deeper click than some of its predecessors. Although still quite shallow, it is an improvement over some of the other ones I've used. Dolby Atmos, which is one of my favorite apps, is included with the Zephyrus G15. It has four presets that can be customized, game, movie, music, and voice, one automatic setting, dynamic, and three more personal presets. Because dynamic seemed the most well-rounded, I largely kept it there, but you can play about with the EQ to get a better sound. The G15 from Zephyrus is no exception, as it is equipped with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 T GPU, and 8 gigs of VRAM. When I stormed a village in pursuit of treasure, it had more than enough power to run Assassin's Creed Valhalla at Ultra, 1440p settings, and 55 FPS per second. The AMD Ryzen 9 6900HS processor powers the Zephyrus G15 and comes with 32 gigs of RAM, which was more than enough to easily handle over 40 Google Chrome tabs and many 1080p YouTube videos. 
Surprisingly close to the category average was the 1170 megabyte per second transfer rate that Asus's 1 terabyte SSD was able to achieve 1178 megabits per second. The Legion 7i's 1 terabyte SSD, 1806 megabits per second, and the GE76 Raiders 2 terabytes SSD, 1775 megabits per second, were absurdly fast, but the Nitro 5's 1 terabyte SSD, 742 megabits per second, performed poorly. The AMD CPU in the Zephyrus lineup still provides an excellent battery life. The Zephyrus's battery life in the laptop mag test was 8 hours and 48 minutes. This laptop is hot. The Zephyrus G15 reached 146 degrees Fahrenheit on the underside after 15 minutes of gaming, above our comfort threshold of 95 degrees. Both the touchpad and keyboard centers were 122 and 78 degrees, respectively. But the back underside only reached a scorching 160 degrees in temperature. It's becoming warm even when no games are being played. The bottom of the device reached 114 degrees, the keyboard reached 101 degrees, and the touchpad registered 78 degrees after 15 minutes of video streaming. The Armory Crate, a program that lets you control the performance of the CPU, GPU, and fans, is among the most crucial tools in any Zephyrus toolbox. In the same software, you can also alter the key lighting, combine games from different launchers, and make performance and illumination profiles specific to your activities. The AMD Radeon software is the second crucial software. It gives you access to performance and gameplay choices to enhance your experience. A few flaws in the Asus ROG Zephyrus G15 2022 prevent it from becoming the outstanding gaming laptop it could be. Although it has excellent battery life, a comfy keyboard, good audio, and a lovely display, its GPU isn't up to par, thus it overheats and is useless. Look into the Legion 7i, which you may get for less money $1,859, and receive improved performance and a brighter display. You wouldn't, however, get the same amount of battery life, a responsive keyboard, or speakers that are actually this loud. The Zephyrus G15 is an excellent driver for your gaming needs if you ignore a few numbers. Thank you for watching this video, have a nice day and see you soon.